welcome to indian thoughts shining wings channel kindly tune to our website for hundreds of motivational stories in text audio and video i am joseph episode 62 second independent struggle whenever i think of the present day humanity i am reminded of two stories the first is that of a farmer who lived by the side of a big pond he could not sleep peacefully because of the loud frog croaking all night every day it seemed that there were many thousands of frogs in the pond this has been continuing for years he decided to clear the pond also he thought that he could make some profit by selling them to some hotels he signed an agreement with the resort according to which they will be buying 100 frogs each every day He bought a small boat and net first and then arranged enough men but what he got from the pond were only just two frogs there were only those two there the media many times leads us to misophonia sometimes through odd debates on irrelevant topics all these media men have the same mind the hue and cry they cause is great but there need not be any substance in it there could only be of a frog go through the breaking news boxes and realize it personally the next story also is that of a frog the myth says that if you put a frog in a pot of tepid water it will continue playing in it if the warmth is kept increasing very slowly it's also easy to boil it alive by the time the heat becomes unbearable the frog would have lost all its energy the media keeps pumping have a right to philosophies in the subscribers mind slowly when it comes irresistible they would have spoiled all the energy necessary for an escape this is very common these days a combined study of temple and villanova universities made in 1977 illustrate the illusory truth effect according to which a lie repeated creates an impression that it could be true what many religious leaders ask us need not be what gita bible or quran directs us though we enjoy the cozy water in the bowl the fact is that we are being boiled when a sexual assault happens how can we forget the media which creates enough subscribers asking for similar news and information it's what we intend that manifest either we agree to it or not what we experience outside is the reflection of what we have created inside how many hours are we spoiling reading stories and watching video clips in mobiles ask ourselves how much this information from social media has contributed to our growth it's a fact that every invention makes us more slavish unless we can live without a car a mobile or wifi it only means that we are chained to these standards what else shall we do according to gita complete our karma with the community the traditional jewish christian greeting peace be to you refers to the necessary inner calmness when we get attached to something it creates joy or sorrow which disturbs the inner calmness gautam buddha stresses on economy a man disturbed by emotions never attain a realm of peace this state of economy is possible only through continuous practice we need another independent struggle to release ourselves from the clutches of the world thank you all for patiently watching this meet you again